Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Musers? John with Muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And welcome to quick tip number 24. In this quick tip, we're going to go over a website called fontplop.com. Um, and it's actually a, an app that you can install on your Mac computer and it converts a font into a web font. So if you've seen me work with fonts to web fonts before, uh, you'll know that I've used a website called fontsquirrel.com and that takes a few minutes to convert the font into the necessary files I need for Adobe Muse. Uh, this app literally takes two seconds to convert the font into a web font. Uh, so it's a really useful app and in this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna go over uh, how to download it and how to use the app. So here we are at fontplop.com. So yeah, you can just go to fontplop.com and I'll leave a link in the description area below. And then here you can click on download and it takes you to this site here and you can download fontplop 1.1.0.dmg. So I've already downloaded the file and it's right here and you can right click and open or double click. So I'll just click there and here to add the font to your applications you can just click hold and drag and and place into applications so i've placed the app in my dock so uh, for easy access and there we go so here's font plop i'll open it and it's just this little window here where you can drag a dot otf or a dot ttf file and it will output the necessary files for web font which are dot svg dot eot and dot woff so we're gonna download a font from pixelbuddha.net and go through the whole process of creating a web font um, out of a font that we download. So I've already done this. So this is the text, uh, the font here is called uh, Miller Salt and I'm using the Muse Motion widget to change the font color uh, for the text here. So I'll go to pixelbuddha.net and I'll download the font. So in the search, I'm gonna type in Miller and then we have this Miller Salt font duo. So I'll click on it. And then right down here, you can enter your email to unlock the font and download it. It is a free font, so you can just uh, download it there. Um, and it's a really nice font here. You can see the different examples there. So I have it in my finder. So it's right here, Miller Salt font duo. So I'll double click and I'll double click on the folder here. So here's the font I'm gonna install, saltregular.otf. So the first thing I want to do is install, install it onto my computer. So I'll double click and here we have font book and right here I'll click on install font. And then sometimes they have warnings, but this font is okay. So you can just click the check mark here and click install checked and I'll click install. So now the font is installed onto my computer. So now I can use it uh, as a web font in Adobe Muse. So I'll close this here. Uh, the first thing I want to do though before I use it as a web font is convert the font into a web font and that's where font plop comes in. So with font plop you just open it up here and we have this little window here. So it says plop here and here I'll just click hold and drag the salt regular .otf. Click hold and drag and place right there. We can see it becomes green just like that. And just like that it exported this folder salt regular export. And here we have the .eot, .svg, and .woff. So that literally took like a second to convert the font into a web font. Uh, so now I can go into Adobe Muse. I can go to File, Add, Remove Web Fonts. And here we have the three different tabs. Oops, we have Typekit, Edge Web Fonts, and Self-Hosted. You'll want to click on Self-Hosted, then click Add Fonts. And here it says drag and drop, so it says .woff eot and dot svg so here i'll go to my finder and i'll select those three different files dot eot dot svg and dot woff so i'm holding command on my mac to select these three files okay so now i'll click hold and drag place into here and then here it says by clicking continue i affirm i have properly licensed the above fonts for website use so you'll just want to make sure that's the case with the font you're using so here i'll click the check mark or click the, the checkbox here and click continue. And just like that, that font is now available as a web font. So we see it has this green check mark, meaning it was successfully installed into Adobe Muse. And if you've seen my pre previous videos on uh, web fonts, you'll know that I highly recommend web fonts over system fonts uh, because 
Search engines can read the text in web fonts. Uh, when, it's ex when it's used as a system font, um, it's an image and search engines cannot read uh, text inside an image. So, so it's just better for search engine optimization to use web, web fonts. So here I'll click OK once that's done. And just like that, we have that font available. So now I'll just go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. So here I'll create a text box in Adobe Muse. Just create some text, and I'll type in Muse for you. And then I'll go to the text panel, and I'll type in Salt. So here we have the font. It's a recently used font, because I've used it before. And then we have it under Web Fonts. It's called Salt. And we also have it here as a system font. So I don't recommend using system fonts. We can see it says exports as image and search engines cannot read text in an image. So you'll want to use it as a web font. So here I'll click salt. Um, I'll change the text size to something larger. And I also want to capitalize the M and the F and the Y. And there we have it. And I'll center this text in the center and I'll change the color. So I'm just going to grab um, a color from my CC libraries. There we go. And I'll add it to the swatches. Then I'll change the text to that color. All right, perfect. So just like that, we've used that font. Um, it is a web font. So if I right click and inspect right here in the code, we can say, see it says Muse for you. Uh, and search engines can read that and know more about your page. Um, if you do have te more text on your page, and your page pertains to a particular subject, um, it's just better for yeah search engine optimization. All right, so now let's bring in the Muse Motion widget to change the colors for this text. So I'll go to the library panel here to the right. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library. And here I'll type in Muse Motion. I'll scroll down and I want to bring in the Muse Motion four colors because I want to change it to four colors. So here I'll click, hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse. I'll open the widget and for the graphic style name it says motion one so this is the graphic style name I want to I want to apply to the text box so here I'll click on the text box I'll go to the graphic styles panel here to the right and if you don't see the graphic styles panel you can go to window and click on graphic styles here I'll create a new style by clicking on this icon here I'll click on style I'll double click and I'll change the graphic style to motion one so now any properties that I apply to this widget will be applied to the element here, the text box. So for this motion, I don't want it to play back and forth. So I'll uncheck yo-yo. Um, I do want it to repeat infinitely. So I'll say negative one. And then we'll go to the first color. And we want to change the font color, not the background color. So we can change background or font color. And then we have enable color one. So I'll go into color two, change it to font color. Enable color two, color three, enable color three, font color, and color four, enable color four, and change the, change the transform property to font color. All right, and just like that, we have the color changing for the text. Looks good. All right, and I'd probably make the ending uh, color the same as the initial color, so we don't have that quick change at the end. Uh, but that's it, that's how you change the color of text with the Muse Motion widget and how to convert a font into a web font with font plop. So that's it for quick tip number 24. The Muse Motion widget can be found at museforyoushop.com. So again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.